the option of upgrading our scooter, so we're just kind of all over the place right now. And whoa! As I'm walking around, Spinarak is ready to be purified. Sorry, Spinarak, you're the only Shadow Pokemon we didn't show a capture of on screen like I acknowledged already. Really sorry. Uh, anyway, so we were told that to upgrade our scooter to go out into the desert, which is one of many things that we're in the middle of doing right now. We need to go off to Kaminko's house. As Per's grandfather, who has the ability to upgrade our motor scooter, is there. And while our... While our... Well... Bleh! Jeez. While our scooter might not look quite as cool as Wes's, it gets things done, you know? It's got an extra seat where you can pick up chicks, you know? Where you can shun your evolution for a girl once you get her. Wait! Who goes there? Are you serious? Not again. You must be yet another burglar! Why are there so many burglars? Chobin will put you straight! Don't you move! Chobin am I, and Chobin is the number one assistant to Dr. Kaminko. Chobin is the, still the only assistant, so Chobin has to be the number one assistant. He admits this to every person he meets without any sort of provocation. By the way, some of you guys like to call this guy Duckface. I don't. I call him Gulpin Face. Just look at him. <laughs> Alright, he has a sun curtain and a Gyarados. Uh, well. Can't say I saw the Gyarados coming. Well, he no longer has two of the weakest Pokemon in existence. But he has the weakest Pokemon in existence and an actually not too bad Pokemon. Uh, I will have Aron take care of the Sunkern and. Eh, sure, why not? I'm feeling destructive here. I'm feeling like being kind of mean. Is he going to attack Aron? Nope. He was actually kind of smart. Wow, that didn't do hardly any damage at all. I mean, I know that he's lower level than me, though, but still, my Pokemon are unevolved. I mean, that's, that's kind of one complaint that I have with my team right now, is the fact that I chose Pokemon that evolve at kind of late levels, and all the Pokemon on my team evolved, though, so as such, Jolteon is just kind of like ahead of all the- Whoa! Critical hit with same type attack bonus on Blizzard on one of the on the absolute weakest Pokemon in existence. That's got our- Whoa, Garen has shrugged that off really easily. Um, but yeah, just the fact that a lot, my Pokemon don't feel like they're quite as strong as they could be right now, just because- None of them have evolved yet. I mean, they're getting close, don't get me wrong, so it won't be forever, though, but still. Uh, by the way, random thing to compliment, I never noticed just how good that sky looks. Like, I don't know about you guys, though, but I'm really a fan of overcast days. Like, I, I lived in Florida for a long time, and I really, really disliked how the overcast looked, and right here, it looks really nice, for, especially for, like, a GameCube game. Like, it, it's really good looking. Like, uh, I, I can't praise the graphics in this game enough. It has a really nice sense of style. I don't think the atmosphere is quite there like it was in Coliseum though, but man, they did an awesome job on this. But yeah, th anyway, ba back on track. Yeah, my, my team feels like it's falling behind a little bit against the opponents we've been fighting. That's kind of why I've been going into stuff over-leveled and why I still have a little bit of trouble because I'm just kind of in that awkward phase of having Pokemon that have really good moves, but they just don't really have stats to back them up because they've, they're they just taking a while to evolve. So yeah. Let's have Gyarados go down. Billy Bob gets a level, thankfully. An Iron Tail! Okay. Iron Tail, if I recall, is kind of inaccurate, but it's powerful. Yeah. 75 accuracy, 100 power, may lower defense. Uh, as much as I like Metal Claw's PP, I think I'm going to dump Metal Claw because that does twice as much damage. Not to mention it is the better um, it is the better option versus Takedown now, uh, when both of them would do normal damage, though. So I'm fine with that. I'll take Iron Tail for doing a lot more damage. There we go. And we are done here! By the way, guys, didn't believe me that he was a gulpin face? Watch him when his glasses fall off. He is a gulpin! Just look at that! <laughs> I'm sorry! Like, I know it sounds like really cruel bullying, and I don't mean to promote that. Like, I don't promote that at all. I, I hate bullying, though, but I just mean, like, he's a gulpin face. Chopin lost. Oh, this is devastating to Chopin. Chopin demands a rematch! Chopin, what is the meaning of all your shouting? Dude, he's like walking outside in his pajamas with a lab coat thrown over. Oh, Dr. Kaminko! Chopin was trained to teach his burglar a lesson. Burglar? A burglar, you say? No mercy need be given to a burglar. Let the just completed it handle him! Kaminko is just as baddie as his assistant. No wonder he hired him. I said it! Chopin understands. It, it is! You wait! You are going to get it! Sorry, I couldn't resist. So Chopin waddles like a duck on the inside. I guess he does walk like a duck. Uh, okay. That's eerie. <laughs> soon. Yes, very soon. You will see what we have in store. If wish to flee, let it be now. I ain't scared of your it, whatever that means. Fine, let us begin. Tweet! 
The rumble of thunder fills the air. The weather remains free of clouds. No, it doesn't. <laughs> let the thunder, let thunder tear the skies and rend the earth. The time has come for the ultimate Robo Pokemon to finally reveal itself. Come hither, Robo Groudon. They are dead serious. Robo Groudon, go! Gao! This is who you battle! You've been warned! This may be his most devastating invention since the unhealthy sandals! Robo Groudon Shobun would like to battle! It even gives us this awesome boss music. <laughs> uh, Robo Groudon is really no different from a trainer battle. He just fights him with a Groudon suit. For some reason, being in a Groudon suit made his Sun Kern evolve in the past minute. Uh, he starts off with Sunflora, level 26, Grass type, chlorophyll for the ability with Sunny Day, Ingrain, Pound, and Razor Leaf. So it is actually able to get off its speed increase with Sunny Day, which might make it a little bit of a threat. Gyarados, level 26, Water Flying type, Intimidate for the ability with Thrash and Bites. Yeah, just two attacks, kinda weird. Uh, luckily for me, I get to try out my newly learned Iron Tail if it doesn't miss, and I'm gonna... I'm gonna go for another Blizzard, just because it worked so well for me the first time. Yeah, for whatever reason, just being in a Groudon suit and the... Just getting into a Groudon suit made his Sunflora evolve... Sun Kern evolve into Sunflora. I, I know that you evolve by gaining experience, and I gotta say... Seeing your master in a suit that ridiculous is definitely an experience to behold. Sunkern, I definitely understand why you evolve. And Sunflora's getting hit animation looks so strange to me. It looks like its head's gonna pop off if you hit it any harder. Like, it just always kind of creeped me out. Ugh. Anyway, Sunflora goes down in one turn. It doesn't even get to do anything. No surprise there. It is still a pretty weak Pokemon even when it evolves. So there it goes. And, wow. Again, Gyarados shrugs it up. Oh! <laughs> I don't think I've had frozen status yet. I like how it's just floating in the air frozen, because that's totally how that works. Um, frozen status, uh, this can last two to five turns, I believe, in this game. You are unable to do anything until either you naturally defrost in two to five turns, or until your opponent hits you with a fire-type move. Alternatively, you can technically defrost if you are using Sacred Fire, which is Ho-Oh's signature move, but uh, good luck finding that. Okay, Gyarados continues to be frozen solid, good. Actually, no, I think it's one to five turns. I don't know. I'll, I'll put it on screen if I am incorrect about either of those counts. Leech Seed. Uh, that could kind of suck. My ball was seated! <laughs> I was waiting to see how long a line like that would take to come up, and... Wow, he didn't even flinch. He really is frozen. I feel kind of bad for him. I mean, he's a water type. He's got that much water in his body. just frozen. That sounds really unhealthy. Uh, Hop Up takes a quad weakness from that with same type attack bonus. It stood no chance of running. Oh, I didn't even go over Hop Up's moves. Level 26 Grass Flying type Chlorophyll for its ability, so it'll benefit if Sunflora gets off Sunny Day. Leech Seed and Cotton Spore. Yeah, that's it. Not kidding. Lastly, Tropius. Level 26 Grass Flying type Chlorophyll for its ability. Its only move is Stomp. So if you've not noticed here, his team is based around Chlorophyll. His Gyarados purposely knows no water type attack, so it can't be weakened by Sunny Day. Uh, interesting strategy you got there, Chobin, just saying. Alright, let's go for another Blizzard. Let's see if we can get a quad weakness again. Because, man, that grass flying type... Oh, it, what? Okay, apparently my research was incorrect. He has Razor Leaf. Um, wow, that is embarrassing. I think that's the first time I've done that since Fire Red, where I actually got the moves wrong and was proved wrong, like, the second after I said it. Okay. Iron Tail doesn't really do all that much, but what will do a lot of it hits... Come on, baby, come on. Come on, do it. Oh, I love you, Svail! Oh, you rock! Down goes Tropius, didn't stand a chance. And Gyarados manages to survive once again. Uh, I guess we'll just use Take Down to... Take it down. That is a Vice Beam, doesn't it, first, which it probably will. No! What? Uh, what? No! Come on! I wanted to be clever and take him down with a bad pun! Well, let me have that game. Apparently not. Oh well. Okay. There we are. Robo Groudon Chobin has been defeated. I like that title. It's like implying that he is the Robo Groudon. Chobin lost. Lost with Robo Groudon. Chobin lost. <laughs> I like the smoke coming out of its mouth. Uh, only Dr. Kaminko would invent such a thing. But, but, how could this be? My Robo Groudon go down, uh, go down to feet? Huh? Oh, on closer inspection, it's Michael. A while it's been. He's Yoda. What, what? Our alleged burglar is merely Chobin's acquaintance? 
And a child, no less. Bah! Enough! Enough of this nonsense! Given the Robogradon's utter failure, a half-built Robokyogre doesn't inspire confidence. I doubt it will ever be useful. Chobin, see to it that Robokyogre is disposed of by scrap by, uh, scrap by Machin at the part shop. Understood? Huh? We're dropping development of Robokyogre? It's finished. Over and done with. Kaput! The whole Robo-Pokemon plan is cancelled! Doctor, wait! Please, Chobun would like to keep the robo on at least! Humph! I have no interest in any robo I've scrapped as you wish. He is so frightening that his doors open outward towards him without him doing a thing. Ah, after all we did to bring it so close to completion. Mistake, and I was thinking of something later. There's some really helpful battle CDs that can appear later. You, child, that area is strictly prohibited. Oh, never mind. The basement is the R&D room. is no longer home to any secrets. You may come and go as you wish, but do not disturb Machin inside, which is exactly what I came here to do. He really is a mad doctor, guys. He, like, I can't say anything else about him. This is always a really remote room to me. Like, it, it kind of sticks out of my mind because it just looks so different than everything else. And it's just, there's nothing really of note in here. I don't think there's any items or anything. So, if you might recall, he said that there was a Robo Kyogre they were working on. And sure enough, there it is. Kind of cool, huh? Hmm, so this is the Robo Kyogre that Kamiko had in development. He called it useless scrap and demanded that I haul it away. But you know, it's quite a well engineered machine. So, he's actually throwing away his only good machine he has ever made. Sounds like him, yeah. Hmm, Cypher is back then. I thought they'd folded five years ago, but they've returned. So I'm going to modify your scooter for a desert crossing performance? Well, you certainly are bold enough to even consider facing Cypher alone. Fine, let's do it. I'll modify your scooter. Good deed shouldn't wait. I'll arrange to haul this Robo Kyogre back to my shop away. Oh, wait. See you there. Okay. I didn't want to go back. There was actually stuff there I wanted to do. Whoa. Awesome. So we are a ten-year-old boy with a hover scooter. How many, like, movies have you seen, or how many, like, fantasies have you had about owning, like, a hover bike or a hover scooter? Dude, scooters would come back in style if they could hover, man. I, I can't say enough good about them. Now, I wanted to go back to Kaminko's. I didn't mean to... I didn't remember that talking to him would actually teleport me away. Because there is actually stuff in his basement that we want to get because it's good stuff. Did I emphasize that well enough? And sure enough, if we go back, Chobin will stop us. Yet another burglar! Chobin will put you straight! Don't you move! Chobin is the name, and Chobin is the number one assistant actor coming in. You've heard all this already. Hmm, I have grown weary of tricking others with peculiar inventions. The Robo Pokemon were no good. Ah, I need a new purpose in life. So he admits that this is all a trick all along. Ah, yes, that's it! Robo Trainers! No, wait, there's something wrong with that idea. Hmm. Yeah, he just says there's something wrong with that idea. Nothing more than that. Alright, so we got a new line of dialogue out of that. If you might notice, Robo Kyogre has indeed been shipped off. We do have Robo Grout on here to look at that's filled with stacks of white paper. There is writing on them. Try reading something. Jovi's Random Diary. Top secret. The Pokemon is killed. a secret room somewhere. It doesn't look like anybody knows where it is. Jovi will find it first and make it a secret base. You mean she's gonna hollow out the entire room and decorate it with 16 or less Pokemon plushes that were ridiculously hard to unlock unless you live in Japan? Yeah, I am dead serious. You can come here and Jovi will periodically write new journal entries. I want to cover this at a later point. You know, just kind of show you the different journal entries. It's kind of like Luigi's Diary, only by a far more annoying character. But that is it. And actually, it looks like that was the last item here. So, um, I think we're going to call this here. We got ourselves a bunch of items here at Kaminko's Lab. We dealt with Chobin in two very different ways. And of course, most importantly, we got our hover scooter. Needed to clear that desert. Well, not clear the desert. Cross it. Yeah, because I could totally destroy a desert with my scooter. That'd be awesome, actually. What the heck am I saying? I want that. Anyway, next time on Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness, we'll be heading out to that desert, finding out what Cypher has been up to. See you guys then.